Gremlins and welcome back to another episode of Marielcraft and on today's episode we are going to start building the art gallery room museum thingy of awesomeness. I don't know what we're going to call it yet <laughs> but that's what we're going to build for today. Uh, but before we begin with today's episode let's go ahead and show the fan art that we received this week. This week, we received so many awesome drawings of myself with cookies, of course. We also got a couple of pictures of my channel avatar, as well as a very colorful drawing of the snake from Slither.io, 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 I don't know how to say that, but yeah, the snake that we built for Gamecraft. We also got a picture of when we got our first gold chocobo and an amazing drawing of my Yandere Simulator character. So thank you so much to everybody who sent fan art this week. And remember guys, if you would like to send me some fan art, you can do so via Twitter. My Twitter account is going to be in the description down below, also known as the doobly-doo. But let's go ahead and continue with today's episode as we have lots of things to do. So um, we are going to start making the um, art room. We're going to call it art room for now because again, I don't know what the official name is going to be for that room uh, so I have still with me uh, the the col the colored quartz the quartz that we colored there we go the quartz that we colored but I also wanted to show you guys something that I did with the texture pack so um, if you guys follow me on Twitter you'll know that I had such a hard time to fix a texture pack that I was trying to work with and the reason why is because as you guys can see over here I switched the nether bricks the way that they look like so I'm going to put a link in the description down below uh, the texture pack that I used to get this nether brick. I think it's called Isomi's texture pack or resource pack. I, I'm not entirely sure what it's called, but um, I got it to work. The only block that I used from that texture pack is this one. And the reason why it's because it looks so adorable. And I thought that it might be a good idea to use that texture or that, uh, that block for the outside of the art room because I want it to be like a little house. Maybe I want to put like over there next to the barn so maybe we could have like a little art room over here but it's going to be like a house that's why I'm not sure if it's going to be like a museum or a house I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be called but I thought that would be a good idea to do for the outside of the house and then on the inside of the house we can do the colored blocks to make it look like the high pixel um a room that they have for the lobby of pixel painters which I showed you um, on the previous episode what it looks like um, and yeah so that's what I'm, I'm intending to do for today's episode the only bad part about um, modifying that block is that now let's go ahead and go into the nether because I want to show you what uh, the nether looks like now it looks really cute but the cupcake house that we made for truffle doesn't look the same anymore so let's head on over there so I can show you guys what it looks like all right, so here is the nether. <laughs> it looks so adorable now. It's so cute and bright. And the cupcake looks like this now. So I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to leave it like that or not. I mean, it doesn't look bad. But it just looks way different. Like now the, the frosting of the cupcake doesn't quite go with this side of the cupcake it's so I'm, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with it but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like now um by the way truffle any any eggs by any chance no no all right thank you thank you anyways uh but yeah that's how it looks like now but let's get back home so we can start building the art room house gallery museum whatever it's going to be called all right, so um, we have, I believe, five colors. Yeah, we have five colors total, uh, 14 blocks of each, which I believe should be enough for the inside of the house. Um, what I need to do, however, is I need to make... Uh, stone bricks because that's what I want to do for the inside of the floor. I think that would look really well. Uh, how do I do this again? Because I kind of forgot stone bricks. Oh, so I need smooth stone? Okay, perfect. Uh, I should have enough cobblestone because I got some. So let's go ahead and cook some of these over here so we can make a couple of smooth stone and that way we can have some stone bricks. And what else should we do for the inside? I think I think that should be good because that, that could be for like the floor and the and the corners of the wall. So for the outside, we were going to do nether brick, right? We need nether brick. 
<laughs> it looks so cute. I'm sorry, but like it, this looks adorable. This looks adorable. So uh, let's grab some of this because I believe we also need to cook these, right? So we can make a uh, nether brick. I think so. Um, nether, nether brick. How do I get the nether brick? Oh, yeah. So I need to cook the nether rack. All right. So let's go ahead and start cooking these. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I need that many. Uh, so I'm just gonna do maybe let's do let's just do two stacks just to be safe. Uh, we'll put the other stack over here. There we go. And for the outside, because we need a roof. We need something pretty and nice to go with this nice purple. What could we use for that nice purple? Does this look good? Nah, maybe some. Let's see, maybe this one, this white one. This white one might not look that bad. Or maybe we could do like a dark chocolate. Maybe a dark chocolate would look really nice. All right, let's take a look at where we can get dark oak wood. I think these trees over here have dark oak wood. I hope so. Um, oh yeah, they do. Awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and collect these. We're going to need a bunch of these. All right, so I got a couple of dark oak wood. So if I turn these into planks, oh, look at that. That looks gorgeous. It's beautiful. All right, so I think we should be good. Uh, let's start making the nether bricks that we're going to use for the outside of the house or museum or whatever it's going to be called. Okay, so so far over here, we have 12 of these. I think we have more over here. So we have 57. It might be enough, but I'm still going to let those cook over there just in case we need more. And now it's time to do the stone. All right, so right now I have a stack of 20 and another stack of 64. So that is going to be for the floor and the columns or the corners. So where are we going to build this? I was thinking about building it over there, but I just remember that there's like a cave system somewhere around there. So I don't want it to be right uh, next to a cave system. So maybe we can build it over here next to the bunny house. Yeah, right. Maybe we can build it over here. I think it would look nice. There's still some uh, there's still some water source over there, so it might look really pretty. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. So I'm going to go ahead and clear some of this dirt out so we can have some room for the house and I will be right back. All right, I think this is enough room for the gallery, right guys? Don't you agree? I think this is good enough. So now we're just going to go ahead and see about placing the stone brick, which is going to be on the floor. So we need to start making room probably over here. I'm not sure how big I want the house or the museum to be, but it has to be big enough so we can have enough of the colors that it's going to look like kind of like someone is painting painting or like a rainbow, something of the sort. So it has to be big enough so the room makes sense. All right, there we go, right? I think it makes sense. I think it's big enough. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So now we need to go ahead and place the columns over here because the columns are going to be breaking between the color of each of the walls. So I think it's going to look good at the end. Uh, but right now it might not make a lot of sense of what I'm doing. And it's nighttime, so let's go to bed. All right, okay, so now uh, let's go ahead and see how we can do this. Uh-oh, 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 hey baby zombie, how you doing baby zombie? Um, there is a little bit of a situation there guys. Um, there is a golem and that golem over there takes blocks and throws them at you. So, uh, this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Here I thought that I was just going to go ahead and build my room and it was going to be so easy and awesome, but no, we have to fight against a mob. So where do we have, where do we have, we have some arrows over here. Oh, maybe we can, we should totally use the javelins, right? Did it, it just despawned. Are you, are you serious? The thing despawned. Hey, spider, it seems that your friend left you. I am so sorry, spider, but don't worry. I'm not going to kill you because I know it's daytime and you are not going to hurt me. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and see the, the, the logistics of what we're going to do for this. So we need yellow, green, then blue, then purple, and then pink, right? Yes, so it's going to be kind of like 
I don't know because it's an even number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven, which means that we're going to be lacking two colors. But that's okay. We can do kind of like, um, maybe kind of like this. It doesn't necessarily have to be an even number of blocks, especially because we're painting. So it's something like wild and crazy and it's just a splatter of color here and another splatter of color there. So I think we're going to be good. Um, now we need to place a couple more blocks over here. So it kind of looks like steps almost of some sort. Does that make sense? Maybe. Maybe. All right, so we have our wall down. Now we only need to do these steps. These steps, which are going to look kind of like this. So it looks like it's rather elevated. I think it's going to turn out really good. I'm not entirely sure if we're going to have enough materials for this because now that I'm kind of looking at it, it seems that we may not have enough resources. So let's hope that we do. How about like that? Does that look pretty? That looks really nice. It even kind of looks like a stage. Yeah, it looks really cool. I like it. I like it. Let's just go ahead and place a couple more blocks like every now and then. So it makes it makes it look a little bit prettier. Kind of like that. Yeah, more 3D. It looks really cool. So over here and over here, we might have to do different colors. So it pops out more. Maybe we could do like red and orange or something like that, like orange over here and red over here or magenta. Maybe magenta would look rather well because this is purple and this is pink. So maybe we can do magenta and orange. Maybe. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and see. So magenta actually looks really well. I really like how magenta looks like. So I think it would be a good combination with these. However, the orange, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to look good or not. Maybe we can do a test. And if it doesn't look good, then we don't use it. But I really do like the magenta. So let's start with that one. Boop. There we go. Yeah, I think it's going to look really cool. I like it. Okay, so now let's take a look at the orange to see if it will look good or not. It might not look bad, actually. It might look really pretty. I kind of like it. Okay, so we are definitely going to need to get more quartz. So I will probably have to find some more witch temple so we can get some more quartz for the walls because it seems that we're not going to have enough. I don't think that... Um, what? How, how many do we have right now? Seven? Yeah, we're not going to have enough uh, for an entire wall with only seven blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and look for some witch temples and I will be right back. So I found this witch temple, guys, and look over there. There's an inventory pet cloud. So I am going to just finish getting the quartz that I, that I need from this witch temple. And then we are going to make a quick stop over to that inventory pet cloud to see what we can find. Maybe it will be a really cool pet that we don't have yet. So I'm really hoping that it's going to be something that I don't have. So I'm excited about that. But let's just finish getting that gold block. Thank you. And uh, let's head on over to the inventory pet cloud. Hello, Mr. Blaze. Can you excuse me? I just need to take a quick peek at what is inside of here. Nothing. <gasps> uh, I might have already picked this one up. I don't even remember picking this one. Sir, sir, sir. Are you trying to troll me, sir? There's nothing here. Huh. I might have already picked this one. Or maybe it didn't work. I really do not remember finding that before. So maybe I did and I forgot. But I don't know which one we got there. If you guys remember uh, me picking that one up, let me know in the comment section. Because I really do not remember picking that inventory pet. Well, that's too sad. But hey, we got um, some more iron blocks or over here. Some more iron bars. Sorry, not blocks. So we can use those for the cage for dinosaurs. And we also got uh, more quartz for our art room. So I am happy about that. Okay, I'm going to finish uh, picking the iron bars and then I'm going to head back home so we can finally finish our art room. All right, we have enough quartz, so we should not be running out of materials anytime soon. So I believe, I believe I placed everything inside of here. Yes, I did. All right, so I'm going to grab this real quick and I'm going to finish dyeing the stuff that we need for the art room. All right, so we have 35 orange blocks and 35 magenta blocks. I believe that should be more than enough for each of the walls. 
However, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the front of the of the house. Maybe it's going to be like different colors using these five and the other two that we made. Maybe, I'm not entirely sure. But let's go ahead and place the orange over here because I think this will look really good. Yeah, it looks awesome, guys. I love it. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. That looks nice, right? I think it looks really cool. I don't know if I want to place more stone bricks like around here, like in a column. Does this look good? No, right? It looks kind of off. Yeah, I don't like it. So I guess we're just going to go ahead and save these for the rest of the floor. And we might do another layer over here. So it's a little bit wider. There we go, nice and pretty. This looks really cool so far. It's kind of tight, but I think it will work, guys. I think it will work. Maybe we could do like maybe two more layers. The only problem is I don't want to... Uh, actually, we could get rid of these because we don't need more Geisha Greens for the chocobos. We have plenty of chocobos already, so we could get rid of these and make a little nice pattern, or not pattern, but a path over to the house. I think that will look really good. So I'm going to make this room a little bit bigger and I will be right back. There we go. Ah, this looks fantastic, guys. I am in love with this room. Maybe over here we could put like some picture frames or something, but right now I think it looks fantastic, guys. So now we need to do the nether bricks and we need to place the oak wood planks. So let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to do this. Maybe we could do like this over here. <gasps> this is so pretty. It's so cute. It is so cute. Maybe we could have like even some windows. <gasps> yes, windows would be lovely. Yeah, so you can actually see the, um, whatchamacallit, the colors of the rainbow. Yeah, it's going to be super cool. I love it. I am very excited about this. I am very excited. So over here, we're going to use these, I think. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to place them down, but I need to come up with something that is going to look really pretty. So, maybe we could do... Uh, maybe we can break this and it's going to cover around. So, that means that it would be over here, I think? I'm not sure if I like the wood, the oak wood on the floor. Maybe we should just save it for like the roof and we can do these all around the house, yeah? I think so. <sighs> All right, uh, well, this is taking a lot longer than I intended to, um, but it's totally worth it, guys. It's totally worth it because it's starting to look amazing i finally finished placing all of the nether bricks that are surrounding the um, art room gallery museum and um, i also placed more uh, colored bricks over here but i am missing one on the very corner over there in the top corner however i'm not going to do any more colored uh, colored bricks because i really don't want to waste um seven or eight i don't i can't remember but i don't really want to waste the nether quartz in making one single color uh for that block so instead I'm going to place a uh, glowstone over there so it also illuminates the area but now I want to see if this would look good as a roof so if we place them over here uh, would that be a good color for the roof I think so right I think it might look really nice so let's go ahead and fix this and make more stairs so we can do the roof for the art gallery room Okay, I'm hoping that with two stacks of 64, that should be enough. I am, however, going to take some more dirt blocks because I'm going to need those so I can place down the roof because it's stairs. So I'm thinking we could do it kind of like this. No, not like that. Um, kind of like, kind of like this for the bottom. Yeah. And then we can start going off and make kind of like an escalated, kind of like, kind of like a roof like that, right? I think it will look really well. Yeah. Okay, so how does this look like so far? <gasps> oh, it's that's cute. That is really cute. I like it, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove the dirt blocks that we placed. Um, oh gosh, this <laughs> the cloud pit moves so fast. Okay, there we go. One and two two there we go cool cool so so far i am loving it maybe we could do like glass over here 
Yeah, right. I think that would be a nice addition to the house. So let's go ahead and get some glass and we're going to place that on the roof. There we go. Does this look good? Oh, yes, I love it. And that way we can have some natural light coming in. Oh, yeah, it looks lovely, guys. Okay, so I also brought with me some glowstone so we can place it on the corners that I said that I was going to place it. So there we go. Beautiful glowstone. Oh, it looks lovely. Hey, do you like it? Do you like it? I think it looks really cute. It's adorable. It's adorable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now we only need a door and some paints for the windows. Let's use the white stained glass for the windows and the door. Maybe we can make a carpenter door. All right. So the carpenter door here and the stained glass pane over he here. And this should be finished right oh that's cute that is so cute and quaint i love it now the only problem is what kind of materials are we going to use for the door maybe some more uh rainbow stuff i don't know if i want to do like rainbow maybe maybe the pink would look pretty how about if we use the pink oh that's cute <gasps> this is adorable. I love it. I absolutely adore it. This is wonderful, guys. <gasps> it's so cute and pretty. I actually am thinking about replacing the, the roof to make it either pink or purple. I'm not entirely sure, but I might do that. If I do, I might do it uh, while I'm not recording because I don't want to spend more time redoing it in, on a future episode. So I, if I do decide on removing or actually uh, replacing the roof with like pink or purple stained clay, then I will do it off camera because yeah, it might take a while. So, so far, I am loving the new art gallery room. I think it looks adorable. Maybe also on the next episode, what we could do is we could uh, figure out what paintings we could place around the walls. And yeah, what do you guys think? I think it looks fan fantastic guys thank you so much for the idea suggestion of making the art gallery room i really love doing this for you guys i hope that you like it as well but now let's go ahead and add one of you guys into the cookie monster subscriber base and the comment that we have for today is by Evie Gry or Gree. I'm not entirely sure how to say your name. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. But anywho, Evie says, you use figurines for activating a portal in the nether. You find the hellboat with a statue of Anu and place four figurines around it on each diagonal side. And in between them, you place four redstone. It then teleports you to a place in the end called the Layer of Darkness where you defeat a boss. But you need a scarab gem to open Anu's coffin for the battle. Oh, and oh my gosh, I did some research on that and you are absolutely correct. I had no idea that there was a boss for the fossils and archaeology mod. But it, because if you guys remember, on the previous episode, we got this figurine of Steve. So apparently that's one of the figurines that we can place um, in front of the Anu statue that we have previously found on another episode episode of uh, Marielle Craft on, on the nether and if we place four figurines as Evie says we can then get teleported to this really cool place called the layer of darkness where we can fight the boss that it's Anu. Anu, Anu, I'm not sure how to pronounce it but yeah I thought it was really cool. That is something that I definitely want to do for this show so thank you so much for letting me know about this. We are going to go ahead and place you over here. Oh, <gasps> that is so cute. Is your skin a... <gasps> You're an elf. That is so cool. I was just going to ask if your skin was an elf and it's so adorable. Okay, let's go ahead and give you a random post. Random, random. There we go. And welcome to the Cookie Monster subscriber base. And remember, guys, if you would like to be in the Cookie Monster subscriber base, just make sure to leave a helpful comment, idea, or suggestion alongside with your Minecraft account name so I can add one of you guys over here. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to leave a like and also consider subscribing to the channel if you're new and i will see you in the next episode have an amazing day guys i love you bye bye Beauty. okay so how do i tell you 
Oh, I wait. Do I have to? No, no, defend me. Defend me. 